I, I think that's a really good point, especially in today's you know digital age where a customer experience goes online and it's not one to one anymore. It's one to many, and that reputation is everything. All we really have is our values and our words. I really loved your point about operationalizing it in terms of like here's the value of integrity. Well, okay, well what does that mean? Here's a description. How, what does that look like? And looking at it in every sense of the word so that there's no ambiguity there. Because if you and I are in a meeting, you have a word, a definition in your mind about what integrity is, and I have a definition, and they're probably very, very different. Does this concept of you know, operationalizing, actualizing what it looks like to have integrity and the values as an example, does it also come into hiring? I know you talk about the heart characteristics. And when they're hiring, are, are they asking people to you know, describe a time when you fulfill these values or can they allow that person to grow into that role? Yeah, hiring is really critical. And back to our five advanced leadership practice, practices for the Triple Crown, uh, it's the first one starts with you know, what we call head and heart. And this is where a lot of leaders make mistakes. Typically what we do in hiring, if you think about an interview, you get the resume, and you're asking questions about their work experiences, uh, their knowledge, their skills. You know, where did you go to school? What did you study? You know, what have you done tactically to add value? And those are, of course, important. Your competence, uh, but it, but the problem is it doesn't stop there. And uh, and Google has done a ton of research on this of what makes. You know, at, at Google, you've got to be really smart to work there. It's incredibly difficult to to get hired at Google. In terms of the selectivity, it's way beyond the selectivity of Harvard University and, and others in terms of the actual numbers. And they figured out that the people who really thrive and add value at Google versus sort of the normal Googlers, it's really at the bottom of the resume that very few people ask about, which is those interests and skills and those personal aspects of did you do you know the Peace Corps? Have you traveled around the world? Did you do you know some kind of you know neighborhood Olympics when you were your kid? And that's the heart piece. And so what people fail to um, address enough, you want the head piece too, but the heart piece starts with character, like we were just talking about, right? Because the trust factor, you know, um, you're talking about courage. Are people willing to step up and, and have the tough conversations? Uh, you're talking about emotional intelligence. You're talking about their resilience and a setback. You're talking about their hunger to do great work, their drive, you know? And, and so those heart characteristics, we want to hire for them in addition to the head stuff, but we also want to develop them. You can develop emotional intelligence. You can develop ethical prowess and you want to reward people for the heart stuff too and not just for, did I meet my numbers this quarter, right? And if you do that, again, it starts to inculcate the shared values and the culture of character as well as results that we were talking about earlier.